Come here, bud. Come here. Hat up, boy. Hat up, boy. Good. Good boy. Hat up, man. Let's go, man. As much as we're about team and family, we take a lot of pride that this operation, the lodge, the kennels, is on the same property that all this originated from. The first person that ever asked me to train his puppy or train his dog was right back there in the tractor shelter where the field trial kennel is now. And at that time, I didn't even know that there was such thing as a profession in training dogs or a way to make a living in training dogs. And it's pretty special to us that uh, we're still right here on the same property it all started from. So where Mossy Pond is, where the lodge sits, where the kennels are, this was my family farm. My papa and my daddy purchased this farm way back, I think it was like the late 60s. The acreage where the kennels and the lodge sit were deeded to Brad. So the same dirt that my children play in today, I played in as a little girl. So Brad and I first started dating when we were in high school. He graduated high school and got his first dog, Bo, a chocolate lab. Bo went everywhere Brad went. He socialized him extremely well. Anyways, he started training him. In the beginning, it was just him and Bo figuring it out. And that, that's how all of this came about, was that one dog and how crazy I was about watching him the next day take the next step. Good, good boy. I get to do a little bit in the training aspect, but it's a little bit of a problem because I would like to keep everybody's animal before they go home. I don't always want to send all of them home. I spend a lot of time when we have puppies that come in, crate training those puppies and keeping those puppies. They socialize at our house and then they come out to the kennel and they work with a trainer out here. River. So I enjoy getting to kind of foster all of these dogs as they come through our programs. The cool thing about this for Cooper is I can make sure that he gets the best experience on the hunt and on these plantation ducks. We come out here at the beginning of the, of the season when he needs to be tuned up and we might kill 30 ducks and work on blinds and retrieves and then in the middle where we just need a little fine tuning, we might kill five ducks. Hey, this this is the last hunt of the year, no mercy. Coming at you.
At the end of the day, we're extremely passionate about our gun dogs, and that's why we train with a purpose. Shorten that throw just a shade. Is that too short of a throw? That's good right there. All right. Blue. This dog right here is a prime example of why I actually love working dogs. This dog come to us with uh, a lot of raw talent, needed to be trained. No, no, here. But he loves what he's doing. He gives me 100% of effort every day. Blue. Just hear him hit the water. He just got in trouble, come back and hit the water. As hard as he did the first time, I mean, you can't, you can't beat that. He's a huge example of why I love what I'm doing. Uh, there's nothing better than building a product that, uh, that wants to be built. And that's what drives us. That's what keeps us coming back every day. Do you like seeing the dogs work and stuff? Oh yeah, I love it, man. I've been, I've been doing this for a long time with them and I fell in love with it. All day long. All day long. Our whole team is passionate about dogs. That's what got us into this, and the training of dogs. The experience we want our gun dog owners to have is a gentleman's paradise. We don't want them to feel like they're training. We want them to feel like they're out with their first dog on that first duck hunt. Oh, boy. Oh, man.